Hello everyone, welcome to another series of Mind Map. Today's topic of discussion is Atmosphere, Origin and Evolution. Under this topic, we will discuss about the introduction and meaning of atmosphere, its origin and evolution. Atmosphere as a part of biosphere, structure of atmosphere and its different layers and composition of atmosphere. Let's begin with introduction and meaning of atmosphere. Atmosphere is a multi-layer gaseous envelope around the earth. It is attached to earth due to its gravitational force. Density of atmosphere decreases outward as the gravity decreases. Atmospheres of some planetary bodies such as mercury are almost non-existent due to low gravity. The height of the atmosphere is estimated to range between 16 to 29,000 kilometers from the sea level. It filters the incoming solar radiation and thus prevents the ultraviolet solar radiation waves reaching the Earth's surface and protects the Earth from becoming too hot. Now moving on to its origin and evolution. The evolution of Earth's current atmosphere is not completely understood. It is thought that the current atmosphere resulted from a gradual release of gases both from the planet's interior and from the metabolic activities of life forms. The primordial atmosphere developed by outgassing that is venting during the original formation of the planet. During the early evolution of the atmosphere on Earth, water must have been able to exist as a liquid since the oceans have been present for at least 3 billion years. Solar output 4 billion years ago was only about 60% of what it is today. The initial life forms that evolved in this environment must have been anaerobic that is surviving in the absence of oxygen. Volcanic gaseous emissions include water vapor H2O, carbon dioxide that is CO2, sulfur dioxide, hydrogen sulfide, carbon monoxide, chlorine, fluorine and nitrogen etc. Now let's discuss about atmosphere as a part of biosphere. The atmosphere is a significant component of the biospheric ecosystem. It provides all the gases necessary for the sustenance of all life forms in the biosphere. Once organisms developed the capability for photosynthesis, oxygen was produced in large quantities. The buildup of oxygen in the atmosphere also permitted the development of the ozone layer. Now let's have a look at its structure and different layers. The atmosphere consists of different layers with varying density and temperature. The column of atmosphere is divided into five different layers depending upon the temperature condition. They are troposphere, stratosphere, mesosphere, thermosphere and exosphere. First is troposphere. This is the lowest layer of the atmosphere closest to the surface of the earth. The troposphere varies in height in different parts of the world from about 8 km at the poles to 16 km at the equator. Within the troposphere, the temperature drops rapidly the higher you go. This layer is called convective layer or turbulent zone because of turbulence and eddies. Clouds and most of the weather phenomena occurs in this layer. The top layer of the troposphere is called the tropopause. Next is stratosphere. The layer just above the tropopause is called stratosphere. The average height over the middle latitudes has been determined to be 25 to 30 km, whereas it is estimated to be 80 km by others. The temperature gradually rises upward and it becomes as high as 0 degree Celsius that is 32 degree Fahrenheit at the height of 50 km. The increase of temperature becomes possible due to absorption of ultraviolet solar radiation by ozone. Sometimes cirrus clouds known as nacreous clouds appear in the lower stratosphere. The upper limit of the stratosphere is known as stratopause. Next is mesosphere. The mesosphere extends between 50 km and 80 km. Temperature again decreases with increasing height. The rise of temperature with increasing height in the stratosphere stops at stratopause. At the uppermost limit of mesosphere that is 80 km, temperature becomes 80 degree Celsius below zero and may go down as low as minus 100 to minus 133 degree Celsius. This limit is called mesopause above which temperature increases with increasing height again. 
नेक्स्ट इज थर्मोस्फेयर थर्मोस्फेयर एक्सटेंड्स फ्रॉम अराउंड 80 किलोमीटर टू 400 किलोमीटर द आइनोस्फेयर इज लोकेटेड बिटवीन 80 एंड 400 किलोमीटर अब द मेसोपॉज इट कंटेन्स इलेक्ट्रिकली चार्ज पार्टिकल्स नोन एज आयन्स एंड हेंस इट इज ऑल्सो नोन एज आइनोस्फेयर रेडियो वेव्स ट्रांसमिटेड फ्रॉम द अर्थ आर रिफ्लेक्टेड बैक टू द अर्थ बाय दिस लेयर टेम्परेचर हेयर स्टार्ट इंक्रीजिंग विद हाइट एक्सोस्फेयर The uppermost layer of atmosphere above the thermosphere is known as the exosphere. This is the highest layer, but very little is known about it. Whatever contents are there, these are extremely rarefied in this layer and it gradually merges with the outer space. The temperature becomes 5568 degrees Celsius at its outer limit. This zone is characterized by Van Allen radiation belts having charged particles trapped by Earth's magnetic field. Aurora australis and Aurora borealis. Now moving on to composition of atmosphere. Gaseous composition of dry atmosphere below 80 km is as given below. Gas and percentage. Nitrogen 78%, oxygen 21%, argon 0.93%, carbon dioxide 0.03%, neon 0.0018% and helium 0.0005%. Now it's time for the practice question. First of all, prelims question. Normally, the temperature decreases with the increase in height from the Earth's surface because 1. The atmosphere can be heated upwards only from the Earth's surface. 2. There is more moisture in the upper atmosphere. 3. The air is less dense in the upper atmosphere. Select the correct answer using the codes given below. 1 only, 2 and 3 only, 1 and 3 only or 1, 2 and 3. Now it's time for the mains question. This question was asked in 2022 exam also. Troposphere is a very significant atmospheric layer that determines weather processes. How? So that's all for today. Stay tuned for the next episode. Thanks for watching.